Mason Grace is another person's fast with Toy Story. Yay! Amazing! Grace is another person's fast with Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Amazing! Grace is another person's fast with Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of fast food toys. <laughs> yeah, baby! Okay! So I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and awe-inspiring Percy's fast food toy story. And so for today, boy have I got a toy for you! Okay, so since today is Easter Sunday morning, <laughs> We are going to, um, I'm going to give you a toy that is very, very related to Easter Sunday and it's none other than, ta -ta -da -da. <laughs> okay, it's a pest dispenser with an Easter egg. Okay, but this is a most unusual Easter egg because as you can see, there's a crack in this egg and it would reveal a face of a baby. It's like uh, this baby is being born on Easter morning. <laughs> wow, what a wonderful symbolism and a very apt symbolism because it's, this is basically what we are commemorating, what we are observing this Easter Sunday because of the passion and death of Jesus Christ, this great sacrifice. And now that He is resurrected, He proves to all of us um, that the power of God is power of God by yeah by the power given to us by God we can also prove to be victorious uh, uh, victorious against sin okay so that's basically what we are celebrating this Easter morning so we are given a new slate a new life of being baptized once again in the spirit so that we can live from that old life of sinfulness from that dark and very dreary life of sin to be able to be born again as a child of God and this is basically this uh, uh, what this particular pest dispenser is actually symbolizing the egg uh, this Easter egg bringing forth a new life there's a baby look at the face of the baby so chubby and so cute and so wide eyed it seems that everything is so new and uh, yeah doesn't make you feel great whenever you feel that you, you feel like you just woke up like a baby you slept uh, uh, so nicely and when you wake you're given a new sleep like everything is forgotten whatever it is in your past uh, basically forgotten and then you can uh, live your life in the, in the light of God <laughs> okay so once again this is a, a pest dispenser and um, yeah I'm surprised that Pes uh, came up with this wonderful Easter symbolism about this new baby uh, being cracked open, cracked out of the Easter egg. Okay, so just like the other Pes dispenser, you can uh, basically fill this up with Pes candies, and once it's actually full, you can use this as a dispenser whenever you you may perhaps be craving for a cigarette. <laughs> this is a wonderful alternative from smoking especially now that you have a new life uh, the, yeah it may be the opportune time for you to actually give up on smoking <laughs> like um, a wild turkey giving up what's that wild there wild turkey <laughs> i don't know if i sort of forgot uh, yeah it's an opportune time for actually for you to make a firm resolve to actually take care of your body because basically the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and it's a great starter for this new life uh, taking care of the body as well as your spirit <laughs> okay so this is great I just love this particular symbolism of Easter Sunday from Fest wow this is pretty awesome can you see the baby it's so cute it even has this ribbon in the field <laughs> Very cute, and uh, the Easter egg is so wonderful. Okay, so this is 
was great. Now I'm gonna say this is just an amazing grace. So once again, guys, let's try to be thankful to God for all the amazing grace that come to our lives. We did in the form of this Easter egg with a new life, a new baby coming forth from it. Okay, kudos to Pest Dispenser for coming up with this wonderful, wonderful Easter Pest Dispenser. <laughs> or also be thankful for the new life that was given to us so magnanimously and so generously by God this Easter morning. Okay, I mean we should be happy and rejoice for this is the day that the Lord has made and we are so glad uh, yeah, to be given that uh, second chance uh, to live from a life of sin to be able to live the life that God intended uh, us, uh, for us to live. Okay, or basically let's be thankful for every amazing grace, be they small or big, be they seemingly insignificant or the truly eventful ones, but just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly. And I thank you guys for always tuning in to Prince's Fast with Toy Story. Thank you to the new subscribers. Please keep on coming because we still have a lot more Percy's Fast with Toy Story or non fast with Toy Stories up my sleeves. Okay, so until the next one, bye bye.